Middle East for inviting me to speak here this evening on behalf of myself and the Prime Minister. And though it's a pleasure to see friends and colleagues again at the annual Palestinian reception, we're acutely aware of the ongoing situation in Gaza. We've all seen horrendous scenes play out on our screens for many, many months. Over 41,000 Palestinians have been killed and over 93,000 have been injured. Many of those have been women and children. The humanitarian situation is beyond appalling. With dire sanitary conditions, a serious risk of famine, 17 hospitals completely out of service, and the polio outbreak. Aid flows are still far below what Israel stated claim to flood Gaza with aid. This is unacceptable, and much more needs to be done. We've seen a rapid deterioration in the situation in the West Bank too. Going back just in the last year where 600 Palestinians have been killed, but far beyond that, the accelerated expansion of illegal settlements and the settler violence which accompanies it must stop.
we withdrew the Tory government's challenge to the International Criminal Court. And we've undertaken a review of all arms sales to Israel and announced the suspension and a number of arms transfers. All of that goes to show the difference between three months of a Labour government and 14 years of Tory rule. in peace. 